I've been using uh, FSD 10.12.2 for oh, two or three weeks, I guess. Uh, and I just wanted to take a trip and see what this thing is doing, how well it's doing. Uh, there's some failures and there's some good things that it's done. So let's take this little trip and see what happens. Be able to let it do this. There's vehicles all over the place here. Uh, it's just going to come up. No, nope, it did it. It did it. Hooray. <laughs> it did it. Yeah, but will it make this one? Yes, it's going to. It's going to do it. Whoa, shoot. This is good. <laughs> It actually did pretty good on that. Wow. So, we had a lane closure. It figured it out, albeit a bit late. But it did figure it out. And it had an immediate right turn it had to make afterwards. And it made the right turn. Now, it's coming up to speed. Uh thinks it's a 70 mile an hour speed limit and it's actually 60 and it's gonna yeah it's gonna drop down now. Say <laughs> no, I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what that's all about, but it is not dropping down to the 60 mile an hour speed. Okay. Now we should be making a right turn off of this right quick here. Let's see what is it gonna do. Yes, it is going to do it. Yes. Just like a real life car. With a real life driver. Almost. Okay, we're coming up to a left on a red light. Uh, this is all controlled, so it should be fine. But we're going to be doing that uh, uh, roundabout again. And, come on, get over there. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> uh, went out of the left turn lane and then came back in. Eh, that's a bit scary. Uh, hmm. Fortunately, there wasn't anybody around me so I could let it do that. Uh, my instinct was just to shut it down right away. But uh, being as I was pretty clear, I let it go. It, it figured it out, but it was kind of a dangerous move. If there had been a lot of traffic around, well, it probably wouldn't have done it. Taking off just like it should. Reasonably smooth. And up over here, we're going to come up to this roundabout. And let's see what happens there. lack of trust in roundabouts for this thing. Uh, go, 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 go. Ah, I had to hit the throw. I'm still having to hit it. Come on, get through there. Yeah. Come on, come on, figure it out. Just, uh, okay, that's a fail. That did not work well. I'll say one thing about these red light stops now. The thing used to just keep flying right up to the intersection. And it's not perfect anymore, but you know it's not it's not up perfect, but it does a pretty good job. Now what we're gonna come up to here is a two-lane roundabout. Now it has absolutely blown this roundabout. You couldn't even 
it just didn't work. It never worked at all. Uh, this, we'll see how it does with this one. I've run through it a couple of times and it has made it through, but it kind of gets confused by the two lanes. So let's see how it does now. Okay, looking at the sign up there, we're going straight through so we can go in either lane. It is a fairly busy roundabout. It's coming up to it way too fast. Now it's trying to figure out where the lines are. Okay, the lines are kind of not there on this thing, so it doesn't really know what to do. Now, I'm going to have to kick it out. There's somebody right beside me. Uh, it did got through it, but I think the guy beside me was a little, what the heck is this guy doing? So, anyway, uh, did kind of blow that. So, we'll try this one again. Now, what we've got coming up here, I've told this thing to uh, go the opposite way. And that means I'm going to go up over an overpass. You'll probably see that overpass now. And it's essentially making a U turn using the overpass. So let's see how well it works. Didn't use a signal. Well, finally did come on after we were turning. And then it put the other signal on early and then shut it off. Okay, whatever. Now, uh, yeah, let's, uh, no, let's, no, I can't do that. Okay, I had to kick it out. It was going to go to the right side. I can't do that. Okay, let's see if it does it. I just put it back in. Yeah, it was going to try to make that corner from the right-hand side. That was not going to work. Doing great here so far. Come on, get across the road. Now, this little on-ramp here can be a bit of a problem. I like to be up to speed when I get down to it. That's yeah, coming up pretty quick. Okay, there was a nice mistake. Okay, looking at this from the left-hand side, you will see there's a white truck coming up there right quick. There he is right there. He is going faster than me, and he's pretty nice. He moves over. I should have been out of his way. I should have had the speed up and got past it, and that's a... That's a problem. You know, people make that problem, make that uh, mistake too. But uh, nice guy anyway. Uh, but FSD did not see the car until it was down there uh, and I'd kicked it out of the gear. We're going to be coming up on this uh, uh, double aim roundabout again. And uh, let's see what it does. This roundabout is new. It's only been in about six months, but they still don't have the lines marked on it. And, well, uh, things like full self-driving, they're going to need the lines uh, for these things to work right. Okay, here we're coming up to it. Uh, This part of it here is kind of goofy. Stop that. Uh, see, now it's trying to figure out where the line is. There really isn't anything. Uh, no, couldn't do it. Uh, okay, you just flat blew it. Uh, the old red steering wheel trick came on. So, uh, yeah, pretty much fails on the, uh, on the roundabouts. Uh, 
it's better on roundabouts than it used to be. It used to be, well, it stopped every time. You'd just sit there and stop. No traffic, nothing. It would just stop. Well, you can't do that. But, uh, uh, but it is better, but it's still not up to anywhere close to par on these things. This last roundabout was a problem because it was a two-lane roundabout and it had no lines in it. And that, you know, a human driver just deals with it. But uh, full sales driving is not going to be able to deal with that, at least not yet. Uh, I would think it should have bore to whichever side it wanted to go, whichever lane it take it where it wanted to go um, and in that case the left lane was actually the right lane to be in but it didn't do it so okay another thing I wanted to take through in this drive uh, I have a very sharp corner I have to make to get to my home and I'm not sure if this thing's going to be able to do it. Okay, four-way stop. Fair amount of traffic. Let's see how it does. Okay, stop, stop. It took its turn. Did fine. Kind of expected the white car to take off. I'm kicking it down now because this uh, this is a school zone, uh, and it went right up to 35. It was to cut it slack. It's a when children are present uh, school zone, but I never run through the school zone more than 25. And it just doesn't make any sense for me to do that. But the car's not going to figure that out. Okay, here we're coming to this corner. This is a tough one. It's, it's still going 40 miles an hour, which uh, is a little fast. Yes, okay, now it's slowing down, slowing down, trying to figure out what to do. Okay, now it's got the real sharp corner. Right? And it does it really good. Yeah. Okay, that's the best I've ever seen it do that. Uh, it's done really good on that, and that is with this latest uh, version. Now, but look in the upper right-hand corner. There's a speed limit sign there. Now, it says 25. I just come off of a 35-mile zone, and that says 25. Now, let's see what happens as we continue down the road. Here's an interesting situation. That was a 25 mile an hour speed zone. And note, we are at 35 miles an hour. This thing accelerated right up to 35 miles an hour in a 25 mile an hour zone. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but the car was accelerating up to 35. And the sign was way back there. Now, no, you know, a half a block down or so, the uh, car has slowed down to 25 miles an hour. It took it a while to figure out or to get everything through to obey that uh, speed limit sign. So that's kind of a problem. And I'm not sure if the hardware isn't up to it or there's a software issue. But once it saw that 25 mile an hour speed limit sign, it should have slowed down. Now here we're coming on to something that, uh, well, maybe it's gonna resolve itself. Okay, there's a car sitting beside the road and somebody just got into the car Yes, it's, it's a little, okay, I would have given them more space. But it was hesitant because it didn't know what was going on.
Now, here's a close-up of the guy with the lawnmower. It looked like he was coming out on the road. Now, you and I both know the guy's just going to flip, flip the lawnmower around. But FSD is not going to look at it that way uh, because it looks like he's walking out on the road. So it did slow down, and uh, I actually thought that was not a bad, uh, not a bad call at all. Now, it just stopped for a guy with a lawnmower. <laughs> Okay, uh, it thought the guy was going on the road and he flipped the lawnmower around. Yeah, that's probably true. So, yeah, I just had to kick it off. It's got to home. So, yeah, that's it on this one.